um, today in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to um, successfully create a user login. As my other tutorial you may have noticed that I did create a user registration. So we're going to select everything from that table and use it so we could use a login. Okay. So first we're going to start off with this. Okay. And put another breakdown I guess. Okay. <coughs> And we're going to do connection equals my squall connect your host here. So mine will be like local host. Usually it's local host. Unless you have IP. Then your whatever you called it, user. This will be your, your database user name. And then your your password here. Okay. Then you want to end it like that and make a new line. Oopsies. Make a new line and then type in db equals my squall select db and then do your prefix db name comma connection. Okay, and then end with that. And then there's button two here. We're gonna do squall equals select ID from user. Put a break and a tab. Where username equals post username. Okay. Let me put, let me go here, and password equals post password. Okay, and then end it off like that. And put two enters here just so we could see it more. And do my squall query squall. And then enter. And end it. Then go down here. And put in the word num and make that equal to my squall num rows and then put result in there so it'll select the rows from result only okay I might get I am here because my friends a loser okay and then put put two enters here and then we're gonna we're gonna do an if function here so if num is greater than zero no, yeah less than zero um, and then put a space here and then this is what we're doing. We are checking if the user and pass are correct. Okay? Put an alert enter there and go ID equals my squall fetch a soj result and that. So now it's gonna take from here and do a, a fetch. It's gonna fetch it from the database. Now, um, what I like doing is is using cookies, so users can um, stay logged in for a certain amount of time. So we're gonna do set cookie. We're gonna call this off, comma, yes, comma, and then do time parentheses start and end plus thirty six hundred which this will um, keep your user logged in for an hour and then to set cookie ID and then do space ID ID okay and then we'll do one more set cookie username it's setting the cookie for the, the username which they logged in from here and the ID which is from here and then comma and then do ID username okay and then you just want to end it oops I didn't end this one okay and then put it up right here and we're gonna have a header so header parentheses open and then quotes location and then do 
let's just set it to like main dot php for now okay end it like that and then put in a couple breaks here and we're gonna go else else would be if the username and password are incorrect so else put a thing in here and go header and then like this location we'll do incorrect dot php like so and that and that and that come down here and end that and whatever save it as whatever you want it to okay and then so save this let's see where it brings us it's gonna be a little slow because that's the whole thing make a new folder call this login <coughs> Okay, we're gonna call this called we're gonna call it do login .php. Okay? Then we're gonna create a new new document. So this is gonna use a form. So you can put this on any page you want. So we're gonna do form name equals login action equals do login .php method equals post. And I'm just gonna make it a little neat, put a border in there. The table, I mean. in the table and then in the form and then go to file save and call this login.php okay and then we're gonna open um, a Firefox which I'm doing now make it to our smaller size so it fits down here and then we're gonna I don't think it's on right now localhost no but for now I'm just gonna show you what it'll look like Username, Marcus, my password, whatever my password is, log in. See? You've got into main there, okay? Now log out like this. And then let's type in something else, Marcus, and then something like that, I guess. And then this will go to, like, try again. But we specific, specifically identified the header to be incorrect on the other one. But this one I had just have try again, so incorrect, log in, try again. Mm -hmm. And basically that's all you gotta do. You can find the sources of these on my website by clicking the, the link right under the word director. If you found this video um, worth watching and you would like to receive more of my videos every time I upload them, just hit that orange button that says subscribe. And if this video was helpful. You could always rate my video by clicking the stars right below this video. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.